What's going on, everybody? It's Cable Line Network here. I'm chilling out, maxing out, doing my thing. All right, y'all. In this video, we are basically going to be talking about a new loot cave. Yes, a new loot cave, guys. It has been found. Now, I'm basically going to show you where it's at now. I basically sped up the uh, footage and everything, so it wasn't a long drive over here. Now, basically, what you're going to want to do is you want to get to the top of this column if I can get there. Come on now. If I can get up there, there it goes. Now, once you get up there, you can basically aim for the cave where the spirit bloom is at. There's somebody up here right now. I usually get everybody away because I waited until the loot cave until everybody left, and then I can basically get the loot cave to myself. But you have to basically stay up here. It doesn't matter if you stare in that hole or not. Then you're basically going to continually fire, and then you'll be good. I actually went into the cave right now. I, ba I basically went into the cave. I sat down. Nothing will spawn. So now people will get mad and leave, and then, booyah, I have the whole thing to myself. I love doing it. It's awesome. But anyway, guys, this is on Venus like I'm telling you right now. By the way, you can keep updated with everything that's happening on Destiny by being subscribed to this YouTube page, Cape Line Network. Now, for some reason, I was stuck with the Oversoul for some odd reason. Yes, yeah, this is the Oversoul. It is the Raid Pulse Rifle. It's actually pretty good. No joke. The same building on it is crazy accurate. I'm going to stick with my good old-fashioned Up For Anything. Like, I love the Up For Anything. It's literally one of my favorite weapons in Destiny. All right, now we're basically going to chill right there now. People were talking about, I got 20 rare drops. To be honest, I've been here for about, what, maybe 10 minutes, and I've only gotten one rare drop and, like, two common. Like, this is not like the old Luke K. Old Luke K would give you drops continuously after you did it. This one barely gives you any drops at all. Now, basically, if you don't know what I'm talking about, the drops are based off a of randomization system. Basically, how many enemies you kill, that's when the drop will um, happen. Now, based with Luke Cage, you speed up that number so you get drops a bit more frequently. That's all it really is. To be honest, I'd rather not even do the. To me, this is kind of a waste of time because I was there for a long time. You only have about three to four enemies that come out. Now, at least with the old Luke Cave, you know, you had three or four enemies that came out, but it was a bit more frequent as you've seen i'm waiting here like a long time for these guys to come out seriously you gotta wait about a minute or maybe 45 seconds between each of the um enemy spawns now i mean people can still consider this a loot cave i guess but it's not very profitable not at all would i recommend it sure if you want to um you know get some rp get some glimmer stuff like that yeah i recommend it but is not as useful as going in regular patrol and just running around killing all the enemies that would be a lot more useful than this loot cave to be honest to be honest so yes i would recommend it to people but it's not as useful as just going around in patrol and just killing enemies that's more useful all right guys talk to you later peace out